Hello everybody on YouTube, Sonic Waffles here, and today you're watching a game of Kill Confirmed on Dome. Now I will say that this gameplay, I'm not going to talk about the gameplay by the way, so don't worry about that, but this gameplay is very, very, very old. I, in fact, I don't even know when it was played. Uh, I don't think I give you that information in the uh, online vault, but it was there. I'm not even sure if I've used this, but it was basically a game, as you can see I was going for Sitrep Pro. Uh, it was basically a game that... Uh, that we completely destroyed them on. In fact, I think we got them 3-1 to one on tags, so uh, yeah, it was a very beast game, I will have to say that. Not a very high kill game, so I don't expect, you know, 50 kills or anything like that, but anyways, that's not important. What I really wanted to talk to you today is about the 4th of July and Independence Day in general, uh, just because Independence Day is also in other countries. Um, so even if you're not in America right now, you've probably got Canada Day, which is, I think, the 1st of July. And then you've got other days for any other countries about, you know, whether it be independence or maybe something else. You know, maybe when it was first sounded or a king or a queen was born on that day, whatever. You might have a day that's celebrated towards your country. And that's, that's very good. And it's supposed to be a day that you can actually... Oh, someone's texting me on Skype. Uh, but it's supposed to be a day where you can actually remember where you live. And just think about how blessed you are to have a place to be. Now, I'm not um, I'm not trying to like push anyone into thinking a certain way about their country. But I will say this. Something that my, my dad told me, um, that his dad told him too, that... Say, uh, just because, actually, my dad, he missed Vietnam War by, I don't know, uh, like, six, seven months, or maybe a year. I'm not exactly sure, but he did. He missed it. And the thing is, he still, he said he would have fought. Because something he told me, and, of course, being being the son of the family, this is something you expect only the males to be told. Um, well, but, I mean, even now, women also fight in the military a lot, so... I guess that's not the case anymore, but if you don't fight for your home, or if you're not willing to, then you don't deserve it. You know, if, if say, I was drafted, and I ran up to Canada, and, to, you know, get away from the draft, then I wouldn't be welcome back here. That's just the simple fact, because if I'm not willing to fight for it, then I don't deserve it, and I shouldn't have one to come back to. Now, many of you might think, well, that's... You know, that that's probably just, you know, emotional, like, uh, what, what would the what would the word be? Uh, impulse, you know. It's, it's something that you would say on the dot. He probably didn't mean it or anything like that. But no, that's, I, it's something I, I actually agree with him. In that, you know, it's, it's actually related to one of my favorite TV shows, which was Courage the Cowardly Dog. No matter what stood in his way, sand whales, demons, or ancient, what's it called, ancient mummies that wanted their slab back, whatever stood in his way, he would do whatever it took, no matter what pain he suffered, to fight for his new home. It's in the it's in the theme song, or not the theme song, but it's in the opening, the opening credits. So, that just says something to me. It It's a day to remember what you have, and if you do have it, then you better fight for it, because someone else wants it. And... That's what I wanted to convey today. It's a very important day to me because I live in this country and I love it. No matter what corrupt people we may have at the top of it, I still would, would fight to the death for it because it's, it's my country too. So maybe you don't share the same aspiration for your country, the same, the same want to, the gumption to protect it or love it. But if you don't, I encourage you to, because if you have anything, chances are someone someone wants it because they don't have it. So even if you live in a country that you might not have all the freedoms in countries such as America or somewhere in the United Kingdom, you might have something that someone else doesn't have. So be thankful for that. 